Hello, welcome to part two of my Acids and Bases Made Easy video series. This is part two. Um, I'm going to be talking about something called the inductive or electronegative effect. If you guys haven't watched part one yet, make sure you, you watch it first. The link is right here. Just click. Um, so basically, uh, the electronegative effect, right? Notice how the hydrogens here, right? They're bonded to two, due to two different atoms, carbon over here and fluorine over here. And carbon and fluorine, they have very different electronegativities, right? So I want you guys to basically pause the video, freeze my face, you have my permission, it's okay, I'll shut up. And I want you guys to just take a guess. Which one do you think is the stronger acid? And um, come back in a couple seconds, okay? Welcome back. So basically the inductive effect is when you have a difference in electronegativity between two atoms like carbon and hydrogen, or hydrogen and fluorine, and it results in there being sort of like a dipole in your molecule, which is basically just the uneven sharing of electrons. So these two molecules look like, look like this on paper, but what you guys really need to understand is that it's not actually like this. You guys need to see where the electrons in the two bonds actually are. So this bond over here, right, it actually looks like this. Notice how the two electrons in the bond are so far away from the hydrogen and so close to the fluorine. That's because fluorine is very electronegative, so it pulls all the electrons in the bond all towards itself. It's very greedy, basically. And that's what a very electronegative atom does. Other very electronegative atoms include like oxygen, um, fluorine, bromine, chlorine. But if you take a look at carbon over here, right, the bond actually looks like this. The electrons are shared pretty evenly between carbon and hydrogen because carbon is not very electronegative. He's a pretty generous guy. He's willing to share his electrons with hydrogen. And as a result, um, because of this inductive effect or electronegativity difference, there is a difference in bond strength. And if you guys, if you guys watched my previous video, you know that if there's a difference in bond strength and there's a difference in acidity or basicity or whatever, and all that. The interactions between the, the atoms basically kind of look, look like this. Hi, hydrogen. Hey, carbon. Oh, electrons. Mine. Huh? Mine. What are you doing? Okay, give it to me. <laughs> it's fine. Hi, I'm Florine. <laughs> Ooh, electrons. Hey, Florine. Oh, electrons. Ow. Yep. So, now that you guys know that the electrons in the bond actually look a lot more like this, right? Uh, which one do you think is the stronger acid? Awkward moment where I'm waiting for no one to respond. Hopefully you guys said that um, HF is actually the stronger acid because it is, and methane or CH4 is actually the slightly weaker, well, it's the, it's the weaker acid. Um, because the electrons are pulled over, the hydrogen is so loose, I can basically just flick it right off if it wasn't marker. But, um, and then the electrons are shared more evenly between carbon and hydrogen, so they have a nice, firmer, stronger bond, making it a weaker base. I mean, sorry. Weaker acid, weaker acid. It's getting late. Okay, so now that we've figured out which one is the stronger acid and which one's the weaker acid, we're gonna take a look at the conjugate base forms, okay? Booyah, we got the conjugate base forms out now. So let's say some strong base like um, sodium hydroxide came along and pulled off the hydrogens from both of, the, both of these guys, and now, in their, and now they're in their conjugate base forms. Which one do you think is the stronger base? And we're going to get that awkward moment again where I'm waiting for nobody to respond. But hopefully you guys said um, F. If you guys did, then you're wrong. But it's OK, because I got that wrong too. Uh, F minus looks like it might be the stronger base, right, since there's more electrons all around it. But remember, it's greedy. Any hydrogen that, that comes near it, it's going to punch. Oh, electrons. No, not hold on to the hydrogen. It, because remember, HF is a strong acid. so. Its conjugate base form is a very, very weak base. But CH3, CH3 minus on the other hand, right? Carbon is less electronegative, more willing to share electrons. So if it's willing to share electrons, you get a stronger bond. Versus a greedy jerk like fluorine, not willing to share electrons, you get a very weak bond. Okay? And that's basically the electronegative effect, also known as the inductive effect. If you guys want to keep watching, make sure you check out part three, which is how the size of the atom 
that the hydrogen is bonded to affects the bond strength, okay? So in case any of you were wondering how I knew fluorine was more electronegative than carbon, well there's a trend in the periodic table. When you go across each of the rows, since the atoms get an extra positive proton, increasing its pull on negative electrons, you increase in electronegativity or greediness for electrons. As you go down the columns or groups, you have similar ele electronegativities, but they still decrease since you get an additional electron shell that makes your positive nucleus farther away and deeper inside your atom, reducing its ability to pull on electrons. I'll talk about this, this a little more in my next video, so don't worry. So don't forget to share and subscribe and connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to donate a couple bucks, the link is right there. Bye. I better see you in part three. Bloops. Hello. Welcome to part two of my video series, at, uh, Acids and Bases. Oh my god. Hello. 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 Welcome to my video. Um, but, um, and then the electrons are shared more evenly between carbon and hydrogen, so they have a nice, firmer, stronger bond, making it a weaker base. I mean, sorry, weaker acid. <laughs> weaker acid. It's getting late. Um, so now, now let's, so, so, now we've, so now that we've figured it out, which one's the big, the, uh, oh. <laughs> okay, so now that we figured out which one, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so now that, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, and if you guys are back now, basically, what was I gonna say? <sighs> Shoot. Welcome back. So basically, the inductive effect is, was when you have, booyah. Ooh, electron. No. Oh, are we, are we, this is recording. This is recording right now. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you can say hi, you're Florine. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Florine. Oh, Ooh, electrons. No, I have to put yeah, the yeah, electrons yeah, yeah, yeah. on. <laughs>